I'm excited for what God's going to do today. I know that freedom and healing is coming to you today because this is Jesus' will for you, for you to walk in abundant life, which means no bondage, which means no sickness. Hallelujah. It says in Acts 5.16 that the crowds gathered also from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing their sick and those tormented by impure spirits, and all of them were healed. This is what the Acts church looked like, that they would bring every single person with sickness, every single person who had demons, and it says all of them, not most of them, all of them were healed. And that same Jesus who worked through the apostles, who was there at that church, healing and freeing those people, is here today, is alive today. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You heard those testimonies that were just read. That is Jesus who is alive today. That is the same Jesus. And it's revival time now. Revival is now. So I want you to expect to receive this Jesus who is moving in the Acts church where nothing was impossible. He's going to come and touch you today because he loves you so much. He died on the cross so that you could have complete abundant life, complete healing, complete deliverance. By his stripes you are healed. Healing in every area, every yoke to be destroyed, every bondage to be destroyed. Now, I want to share some keys of how to receive this deliverance because Jesus is ready to give it to you. Now you just need to position yourself to receive what he wants to give to you. Number, you're doing it, number one, right now by positioning yourself where Jesus is moving in power, where his anointing is flowing. That's what they were doing in the Acts church. They brought, this, the sick would come. The demon-possessed would come to a location where the anointing was flowing, where Jesus was moving in power. The anointing is Jesus who moves in power. So they just positioned themselves there, and now the anointing could touch them and do the impossible. So number one, you've positioned yourself. This is very important because this is how Jesus moves in power, is through his vessels. The biggest key to receive deliverance is surrender to Jesus. Surrender. Jesus is your deliverer. He is the one who is delivering you. When you come expecting deliverance, you need to be expecting Jesus, your deliverer, to receive from Jesus. It is a moment where Jesus is releasing himself his abundant life that he's provided for you on that cross. It's not coming to a doctor. It's not coming to receive a magic pill, a fix. You, if you come not wanting to surrender to Jesus, but just wanting to get rid of an addiction, for example, you won't, you won't be delivered. Because deliverance comes from surrendering to Jesus. Jesus, I want what you want for me. I want you to have your way with me. That's the action of inviting him to come and deliver you. That's when the demons see, oh, no, we have no power. We have to leave. You have to make the demons submit to God's authority. You have to close the doors in your life, the doors to the devil, so that when a high authority of Jesus comes in with anointing, those demons know they have to go. They've been kicked out by you. And now it's time for those strong, the stronger levels of demons, that anointing must come and destroy them. That's the key is surrender. Jesus, have your way, whatever it looks like. You have to make that choice you know, I don't want to continue with this addiction anymore. Jesus, I want to be free. I, it doesn't mean if I lose my, my friends and my drinking friends, right? I'm giving them up now. I want to be free of this demonic soul tie. I'm, I'm giving up this relationship, God, even though I'm going to lose some benefits. 
I'm surrendering this relationship to you. I want to be free of this demonic soul tie. You have to surrender to Jesus so he can come and set you free. This is the action of surrender. And also, a big key to being set free is renouncing. When you've opened up doors for the enemy in your life, in the past, it could be before you were a Christian, it could be after. If there were doors that were open that you didn't even open, but it was abuse and trauma that happened in your life. Maybe it was from past generations. Maybe your parents were, in, were doing witchcraft or were not surrendered to God. These are doors that are open for the enemy to come in, for demons to come in and have access. And a big key to being set free is to renouncing those doors that were opened. Renouncing means to say, this door was open for the devil before in my life. Whether you did it intentionally, unintentionally, or it was just opened in the past. But I'm saying today, I'm shutting it. I don't want this anymore in my life. I don't want this addiction. I don't want this anxiety. I don't want that witchcraft that I allowed in my life. I don't want that anymore. That abuse that happened, I renounce that. And as you speak that, that's you saying, no more. I'm surrendering to Jesus. I don't want the devil's will in my life anymore. I don't want the devil's portion in my life anymore. I don't want him, him to have any access in my life anymore. I want Jesus' will only. I want what Jesus wants for me completely. That's the action of renouncing. And so that's, that's surrender. That's part of that surrender to Jesus. And as I've ministered, I've seen so many times I can command demons to leave in Jesus' name. And you can see that there's some that are, have a hold on the person still, and they're not being completely set free yet. And I will ask them, is there anything that God's leading you to renounce that you'd like to renounce right now? And they will speak those words of renouncement. They will start to renounce, and immediately they will be set free. Sometimes it's as soon as they renounce, demons leave. And sometimes it's as I declare them to leave. Now the demons quickly go. It's because the demons have lost access. You've shut that door. You have to shut the door by saying, I don't want to do this activity anymore. For example, I don't want to speak. I'm not going to speak words of death anymore. You've got to close that door. I'm only going to speak life now. I'm making that decision. And then you also need to renounce. So during this session right now, at any point, you can be renouncing. You can be renouncing as God leads. God can bring things to your mind. Speak in detail. Speak in detail. Actions. Maybe it was words you've spoken. Maybe it was diagnoses that were spoken over you. You have anxiety. You have this sickness. And you claim this for yourself. Renounce that. It's not God's will for you to have sickness, so renounce that. Sickness does not belong to you. Speak that. And as you renounce, and there's a power of renouncing in the, the presence of where God's anointing is moving, of where he's moving in power. You might have renounced before, but there is power in renouncing where God's anointing is moving. Because the demons know where you're positioned. The demons know that authority of Jesus that's being released, that's being spoken to them. And so when you position yourself, you're coming surrendered, and you speak, I really mean this. I renounce this in the presence of God's anointing moving. Now the demons have lost all kinds of access, and they will be forced to leave. Hallelujah. 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 So I'm going to begin to pray for, for you all here one-on-one. Um, -on -one and, 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 and as I've, I've ministered on, on Zoom several times, and, and we've seen people be delivered one-on-one, -on -one, but also 
not one-on-one, -on -one, just watching, just the other, others of you on the Zoom, or even just watching the live stream, watching on Facebook, watching YouTube, watching later, Jesus loves you so much, he's not limited to one-on-one -on -one prayer. He is not limited. And so if you come with this heart of surrender right now, if there's demonic oppression in you, if there's demons, they have to obey Jesus. They have to obey that word. Whether I am praying for you one-on-one -on -one or not, Jesus is here and is going to deliver you and heal you if you will believe. If you will believe, it is Jesus who's going to heal me. It is Jesus who's going to deliver me right now. Jesus is with you. It's not about a person it's not about me. It's not about my personal prayers to you. It's about Jesus coming and touching you and setting you free and healing you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Who is ready to be free and healed today? Are you ready? Yes, I see your hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for all of the people you're going to set free right now and heal right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I see God setting many of you free of, of anxiety right now. Anxiety. If you have anxiety... Renounce right now. I renounce this anxiety. Maybe it's panic attacks. I renounce these panic attacks. Maybe you've spoken, I have anxiety. I have fear. I'm so afraid. Maybe you've renounced, I'm so afraid of the future, of what might happen to this relative. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm afraid of COVID. Maybe you've spoken certain things. Renounce these certain things that you've spoken of anxiety. Now's the time to shut these doors. It's not God's will for you to have anxiety. It's God's will for you to be in perfect peace. This is possible, and this is God's will for you. To never have an anxiety attack again. To never feel your chest tighten again. Speak right now these words of renouncement of anxiety. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I detach you now from all these words you've spoken, renouncing anxiety, in Jesus' name. And on three, I command every demonic spirit of anxiety, every demonic spirit attached to what you renounced, every spirit of panic attacks, of fear, every spirit of anxiety that came in through trauma, in Jesus' name must go. One, two, three out of every person now in Jesus name thank you God no more fear from today no more anxiety from today perfect peace now in Jesus name Linda and Ashley Hallelujah. Thank you, God. It's time for you to be free today. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. I see this like blockage that's been in your life and like a dark cloud that's hung over you. I declare that to be removed from you now. And I lift that yoke off of you now in Jesus' name. And all of these repeating attacks that's come to you, repeating, it must end now in Jesus' name. I cancel this assignment of the devil off of your life now. I declare every spirit of witchcraft to go in Jesus' name. Every spirit of depression must go in Jesus' name now. Thank you, God. All anxiety must go now in Jesus' name. And all sickness must go from you now. Thank you. 
All of the tiredness must go. All of the heaviness must go. <laughs> Everything that was keeping you from functioning properly must go now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I speak complete freedom to you now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Be filled with this anointing. Be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit now. Be filled with his peace and his joy now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. The past is gone and you are free now. You are free. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give God a praise wherever you're at in your room. God is moving. And I see many of you are going to be receiving deliverance and healing through these one-on-one -on -one prayers. As words are spoken, I see even now, God is setting you free. Thank you, Lord. Vanessa Valela. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hallelujah. Thank you. I feel the Holy Ghost all over me. He is. Yes. He say I'm he says I'm so delighted in you. I'm so proud of you. He says that I'm, I see you and I see all that you do. I see your efforts. I see your hard work. I see all the care you put into what you do for me. I see the, the excellence of your work for me. God's saying that you see him as your boss in everything you do. And he's so proud of you. And he says, don't worry about the dreams on your heart. I gave them to you and I will make them come to pass. And I'm going to be opening the doors now. You've been through a testing time and you've been so faithful. You've proven your faithfulness, he says. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see him entrusting you with a lot because you are faithful. You have a call to set people free and to carry his anointing. Thank you, Jesus. I speak all of the worries to go from you now in Jesus' name. All of the lack to go now in Jesus' name. And I speak these doors to open up for you now. Thank you, God. Be filled with this anointing, with this power of God now. In Jesus' name, be full of his peace and his joy. May you increase now in the spiritual realm. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you feel, if you feel manifestation, like, like demonic manifestation, you can put your hand up. You can raise your hand. Marlon. Or we could go to Annette. Or anyone whose hands are raised. Yeah, there's Marlon. Hallelujah. Jesus is setting you free right now. He's setting you free right now. Hallelujah. 
I declare every single demonic spirit that's kept him from serving God, that's kept him from going to the word, that's, that's put like a blockage in front of him and clouded his mind with confusion. On three, every demonic spirit, stopping him from serving God and bringing confusion and darkness and torment in his mind. On three, you almost leave him in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Out now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are free. <laughs> that, that was Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You are free today. Nothing can stop you from being close to God and from serving Him. You are free in your mind. These thoughts will not come back from the enemy anymore. You are free. And I speak peace and joy to you now. Be filled with the Holy Spirit now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God is able. He is so powerful. This is the love of Jesus. He is able to free you of anything. Bara. Kumar. Hi. Thank Hi. you. Thank you, Jesus. God is setting you free right now. Thank you, Jesus. Is there anything you want to speak of, of renouncement in your life that could have been an open door for the enemy? I am having the, some bad dreams with, like the uh, somebody chasing me. Thank you, Jesus. God is going to set you free of that now. I detach him from what he renounced now, these dream, these bad dreams. And on three, I command every demonic spirit coming in the night with these bad dreams, recurring. You almost leave him in Jesus' name. Amen. One, two, three out of him now in jesus name thank you god hallelujah no more nightmares from today no more i speak peaceful dreams now in jesus name peaceful sleep be filled now be filled Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I command every demonic spirit coming in the night, every spiritual spouse, every recurring nightmare, every demon coming and doing bad things to you in your sleep must leave every person here now in Jesus' name. No simo, makacha. These nightmares must end from today. You must have peaceful sleep in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We lost the, we lost your picture. Oh, let me try to get it. 
We could come back to her once she gets it back, maybe. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If you feel demonic manifestation, raise your hand now. Melvin. I think back one to Melvin. Oh, there he is, yeah. Hello. Hi, God is setting you free right now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm from India. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, God, God needs to restore my family. You know, many evil spirits were attacking me and my family and my cousins and my friends. There is a big number of nightmares and evil spirits keep on attacking me. There is so many misunderstanding between friends. When I start sharing the gospel, Satan is trying to uh, pull me down. I know every day I'm not even sleep sleeping properly. When I shared my gospel, my friend left me. Satan is attacking my dad, my friends, everyone. God needs to set us free. You know, there is no proper sleep until last one year. So God. It's time for you to be free now. It's yeah. time for you to be free now. Thank you, Jesus. Please pray for my friend who is suffering from the evil spirit. Your friend? Yes. Okay. I When I start sharing gospel, Satan is created problem and he's left from here so he's treating me like their enemy he was so good I'm seeing some other face through my friend it was so God need to deliver him my when I, I I came to Chennai another town I used to share about Jesus but Satan is attacking my friend in hometown everywhere you know, even I can't even sit in, the, in my room. I'm standing in outside of the room because everyone who is against me because I'm sharing the gospel. I, I, I waited for this moment. Please Hallelujah. Pray it's time for you to be free right yeah. now. Thank you, Jesus. Every demonic spirit that's been trying to stop him from doing the work of God, like a yoke on him, a bondage that's keeping him from speaking, and serving Amen. God to the fullness. Everyone Amen. must leave him in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, God. Everyone coming in the night in his sleep must leave him now. Every last demonic spirit in him. Attacking him and his family day after day. Everyone coming from past generations. On three, you all must leave him in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Out of him now. And I break every generational curse off of you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing can stop you from doing the work of God, from serving God. Nothing. You are free. God is with you. And I speak protection over you now. And I speak doors to open up for good people who love God to come alongside you and do the work of God with you. Thank you. And I remove all of the hurt that people caused you, all of the ways the enemy came in through other people to try to hurt you. I remove all of that from you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I release this anointing to you. Be filled with his power. May revival spread through you. Amen. In India. May Amen. people be touched, healed, and delivered through you. And Amen. may doors open up for you now. Amen. In Jesus' name.
And I speak freedom to your friend now and your whole family. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you, Kathleen. Praise God. Thank, Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Jesus. I see God setting people free of addictions now. Thank you, Lord. I declare every spirit of addiction must leave every person watching now in Jesus' name. Teresa. Teresa Zelfin. God is freeing you right now. <gasps> Thank you, Jesus. Every spirit of addiction, every spirit of anxiety, everyone that's come in through trauma, everyone speaking against her self-worth. On three, I command every one must leave her in Jesus' name. One, two, three out now in Jesus name Thank you Jesus Hallelujah. I break every soul tie, demonic soul tie, off of you now. Every spirit of manipulation must go now in Jesus' name. Every spirit of witchcraft must go now. I break every generational curse off of you now. God, praise God. You are free. Uh, I feel tingly all over. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. God has set you free today. Thank you, Lord. Be filled. Be filled now with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with his fire. Be filled with his peace and his joy now. I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. <sighs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Jesus, you are beautiful. Jesus, you are beautiful. Thank you, Abba, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. The fire of the Holy Spirit filling yes. you now. <laughs> Praise God. I feel like I'm on fire, so... Hallelujah. The love of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus is here with you all. The same Jesus who just touched her so powerfully and freed her and filled her 
is going to do that for you right now. He's with you right now. On, on Louise. Hallelujah. Hi. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. God says I, he's heard your prayers. He's heard your cries and your prayers. And he's answering them right now. He loves you so much. And these things that have troubled you so much, he doesn't want them in your life. He's removing them now. I speak, there's this something that you prayed over and over and over and over again. Receive that now in Jesus' name. Receive what you need. Receive this provision now. And where there has been division and trouble in your family, I declare that that attack of the enemy to, to go now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I speak peace. I speak unity. I speak God's power to move upon you and your family now. Thank you, Lord. Thank in you, Jesus. Jesus' name. Thank I declare you. every worry, every anxiety to leave you. Lord. In Jesus' name. Every nagging thought that comes and attacks you throughout the day must go. In Jesus' name. Every spirit of condemnation, every spirit of religion must go now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Every voice of the enemy that speaks shame and guilt to her must leave now. Thank you, God. On three, I command every demonic spirit that's trying to push her down. You must leave her, every last one, now. One, two, three. Out now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are free. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Be filled with his spirit. Be filled with his peace and his joy now. I receive you, Lord. God is so proud of you. He loves you so much. And it's time now to have such a sweet relationship with him like never before. Thank you, Jesus. 
I break every generational curse off of her now. Everyone that's coming through past family members must leave now in Jesus' name. Every spirit of false idol worship must go now in Jesus' name. Allow, allow her to speak now. This is Jesus freeing you, hun. This is Jesus freeing you completely. Is there, is there anything that God is leading you to renounce that could have been an open door for the enemy? Um, um, I, re I renounce religious spirit. Um, I renounce fornication. Um, I renounce... Um, um, I renounce taking death towards um, our li my life, um, my family, and towards our finances. Um, uh, um, um, Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I detach you now from all that you renounced, and on three I command every demonic spirit attached to what she renounced must leave her in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Out now. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. You are free. You are free. Jesus has freed you right now. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Be filled now with his peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Thank Praise you. God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank Jesus you. is amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. My hands are still shaking. It's the Holy Spirit. He's with you. He's filling you. Yes. You are new today. Yes. I was praying to feel her, uh, to feel his tangible presence. And wow. And he answered your prayers. Yes. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> Praise God. Wow, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, you are amazing. Praise Jesus where you're at. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hosanna, Winkler. Much, but I, but I'm here. So. Oh, hallelujah! Well, God has something for you now. Yes. He says, "I see you, and you've made me very proud. And you have such a beautiful, sweet heart. You're full of compassion and kindness. You carry the heart of God so well, and God sees how you love His people." 
he sees and he's so proud. And I see God advancing you. I see this propelling forward right now where there's been a lot of waiting. God is moving you forward now. Wow. God says it's time now. It's time for these doors to open up now. Yes, and God says, all those things that you were wondering about, when will this happen? You don't need to worry. In my perfect timing, they are all happening. I see the desires of your heart. I see the desires. And he says, thank you for trusting me and waiting on me. Thank you for not doing things the world's way. Praise God. He's so <laughs> proud of you. And there's such a great reward for waiting and following Jesus. There's such a great reward he has for you, bigger than what you've dreamed, bigger than what you've journaled about and imagined. <laughs> it's bigger. It's better. He will amaze you, surpassing your dreams. And I see so many people who won't go the world's way because of you. You are a leader. And many people will not go the enemy's way because of you. Because of your example. Because you've done the hard thing and waited. Jesus is using you. I see these people looking up to you now that you don't even know, that you aren't even aware of. I see them looking up to you. On social media, they, they see you and they're learning. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. He's I, speaking I, straight through me right now. <laughs> what do you say? He's speaking straight through me right now. Hallelujah. Be speaking through you because everything you're saying is exactly everything on my heart, what I've been praying for for months and months and months. Oh, praise God! Praise God! Oh, Jesus, hallelujah! This is Jesus speaking to you now. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. I speak that having all heaviness to be lifted off of you now in Jesus' name. every kind of yoke to be destroyed now off of your life. Any kind of sadness to go now. All worries, all anxiety to go now in Jesus' name. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with his peace, with his joy, with his life now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Catherine, I went to um I went to one of your deliverance revival services in San Antonio and um and I was <laughs> sort of in the back and um you were speaking deliverance from trauma and I've had some trauma in my past and I just surrendered it all to, to Jesus in that moment and I really felt the Lord lifting trauma off of me in in that moment, in that time, as you prayed over everybody at the deliverance in San Antonio, and I just thank you so much for, um, for just the heart you have for people <laughs> and everything you're doing in your ministry. I've, it's really changed my life. The Lord has really spoken so much to me mm -hmm. just through what you're doing, your ministry, and I just thank you so much. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, thank you for what you are doing, for what you have done. Thank you for your love, Jesus. Your amazing love. Jackie.
hijacking. Hallelujah. I see God lifting heaviness off of you now. Heaviness and sorrow. God says it's time to rejoice and be light and free now. I declare every demonic spirit of darkness, everyone that's made her heavy and tired and not feeling herself, not do what she wants to do, everyone that's come attacking her family, every spirit of depression. On three, I declare all of you must leave her in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Out of her now, in Jesus' name. I break every curse off of her. Every spirit of lack must go now. Every spirit of stagnancy and every spirit of rejection must leave now. Every voice of the enemy that comes and torments her in her mind must go in Jesus' name. I speak complete freedom to you now, in Jesus' name. Be free now. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Be filled with this anointing. Be strengthened by the Holy Spirit and energized. Be full of his joy and his peace now. I see God making divine connections in your life that's going to lead to many blessings. I see people crossing your paths. I see, I see jo such joy coming to your face as God is sending people to bless you, to be a blessing to you and your family. I see like there have been people who have hurt you and your family. And now God is restoring what, what the enemy stole and bringing more, more to you, abundance. I speak these doors to open up for good people to come in your life and be a blessing. No more loneliness from today. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I want to, we're going to spend a moment right now to renounce because I see God releasing this mass deliverance over all of you watching and all who watch the replay. I see his power moving mightily and freeing you all, all who are surrendered to Jesus. So we're going to spend a moment right now to just renounce, renounce all of those doors that were opened up for the enemy in your life. You can speak right now where you are. You can say, I renounce this addiction. 
I renounce these words of death that were spoken over me. I renounce these words of death that I spoke. I renounce this sickness. I renounce anxiety. I renounce depression. I renounce this. It could be a sin, sins that you did. I renounce this that I used to do. I renounce witchcraft off of my life. I renounce generational curses. I renounce witchcraft that was done in my family. I renounce the trauma and the abuse, abuse that happened to me. Just speak, speak this right now. God's going to be setting you free even as you renounce right now. Every demon has to go now as every door is being shut to the demons. And Jesus is invited in now to have his complete way with you. you, Jesus, for what you're about to do. Thank you, Jesus, for freeing your people. Thank you, Jesus, for your victory over the devil, now and forever. Thank you for abundant life that you have given us. I detach every person now from what you just renounced in Jesus' name. I break every generational curse off of you. I break every curse. Every curse that was sent by witches to you, I break it now in Jesus' name. And on three, I command every demonic spirit attached to what you renounce must leave every person here now in Jesus' name. One two, three, out now of every person. Thank you, Jesus. Gabrielle, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is freeing you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Every spirit of depression, everyone that's come, coming against her in her mind, Everyone that entered through abuse, through words of people, through relationships, you all must leave her now in Jesus' name. I break every demonic soul tie off of her now. Jesus. Every demonic spirit that came in through words of death spoken to her, that stayed with her and became part of her identity, you must go from her now.
I speak complete freedom to you now. Be filled now with God's peace, with his joy, with his spirit now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise God, hallelujah. <laughs> Sahana. Sahana gosh. Jesus is freeing you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is with you right now. Thank you. I see God removing all of the pain, all of the tears you've cried. I speak all of that pain to go. The pain that's come from loss, it must go now. All of the grief must go. Amen. All of the depression out now. Amen. In Jesus' Jesus. name. For Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All of the heaviness off of her now. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. All of these memories that have come back in your life that have kind of haunted you, I speak they must go now in Jesus' name. Amen. I speak peace to your mind now. Amen. Peace and joy. You are a new creation today. The past Amen. is gone. The new has come. Amen. The new has Amen. come. You, and I Jesus. speak many blessings to come to you now. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For this. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Oh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you for touching your people, Jesus. Sabine. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> can you hear? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I, you know, I'm so far away. I, I live on a very small French island called Reunion Island, lost in the Indian Ocean. It must be like 10,000 kilometers away from you. And it's such a grace. It's such a grace to be with you tonight. Oh. God bless you, Sister Catherine. I, I'm the happiest one. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God bless you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. I, I've been expecting that moment. Thank you, Jesus. Such a grace. Thank you, God. 
Thank you, Jesus. He's he's heard your prayers. He is with you. Thank you. And ev every kind of lack in your life, every kind of oppression in your life must be gone now. Every chain must be broken now in Jesus' name. Everyone that's kept you stagnant, I see the stagnancy that must end now today where you've wanted to move forward in life with something. There's something you have, like, some, like a business, something you have that you've been wanting to move forward with. And there, it's been like stuck. I speak the, the, the thing that's been blocking you to be removed in the spiritual realm now. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You, Praise God. And I cut the spiritual tie connecting you to the past. Connecting you to family and the past, that there's something demonic that happened. I cut that tie now. And I break every generational curse off of you now. Every curse that was curse sent that you wouldn't prosper must be broken now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I speak now these doors to open up for God's will to be done in your life and with everything he's called you to do, with the ministry, with business that he's called you to do. Be free now and move forward now in the spiritual realm in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Be filled with this, with this anointing. Be filled with his life, with his peace, with his joy, with his abundance now. Hallelujah. Praise God. God has set you free today. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you, Sister Catherine. You it's such a grace. And I receive my freedom and deliverance right now in Jesus' name. You've spoken everything so true about my past, my family, my job. And thank you, Lord, because I, I know that it's just cut what needed to be cut in Jesus' mighty name. And I receive the joy of the Lord, that's, you know, that's the greatest thing, the joy. I receive it, Lord. Amen. I needed that joy. I love you so much. <laughs> <It's because laughs> me. I, I am the happiest one. I, I, it's, it's been so long. You know, I don't remember the, 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 the last time I felt that joy. It's it's such a grace. I I think I, I'm really tired, you know, because I I've had a tough day today. But I feel like I'm, I I I want to dance or jump on my bed. Hallelujah! And express that joy. I receive that joy, Lord. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. God bless your ministry, sister. Thank I you. love you. God bless I you. Love you so much. More and more Thank joy and energy now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless I you. you. God bless <laughs> you. Oh. God bless you. Oh, Jesus. Praise God. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God is healing people right now. If you have sickness in your body, God is healing you right now. If you have pain in your body, I declare every spirit of infirmity to leave every person now. Every disease must go now. K-H-R-U Tolu, Kuro Tolu. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hello. Hi. 
Uh, can you hear me? Yes. God is freeing you and healing you right now. Thank you, Jesus. It's like every, it's like sometimes you cannot you're not seen. You feel like not seen. And there's not fav, like not favor over you or you're looked over. I declare every demonic spirit that's been blocking you in the spiritual realm must leave now in Jesus name. Everyone that's tried to keep you from prospering and stepping into those places that God has called you to go. Everyone must go now in Jesus name. Every demonic spirit that's stealing your light must go. And I speak the light of Jesus, that's the star that, of Jesus that makes you shine bright to be restored and returned to you now. In Jesus' name. No more of these constant no's in your life. No more of these doors being shut in your face. I speak all depression and anxiety to go. And I speak every spirit holding you back must go and keeping you from being seen must go God says your heart is so beautiful and I'm sending good people that will see your beautiful heart I remove all of the trauma and abuse that's come through other people spoken bad to you I remove all of that now in Jesus name every spirit that came in through trauma must go now thank you Lord thank you Jesus I speak doors to open now for good people good friends to come and surround you. God says you are worthy of this. You deserve good friends who will love you well. And I'm sending them to you now so you can receive my love more and more. Your heart is beautiful and anyone would be so blessed to have you as a friend, God is saying. Thank you, Jesus. And every voice that was saying that it was your fault, that you're not good enough, is a lie from the devil, and I declare it must go. Every accusing spirit, every condemnation spirit must go. Thank you, Jesus. God's saying right now there's nothing wrong with you. You are beautiful. Your heart is beautiful just as you are. You're lacking nothing. You're missing nothing. Thank you, Jesus. And he's so proud of you. You've handled so much with such grace. He's so proud of you. He's seen it all. I speak complete freedom to you and healing in your heart where there was these wounds from people. I speak healing now to your heart. Be filled now with the peace and joy of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Lord. I wanted to hear this so much. Thank you so much. Glory to God. Glory to God. Wow, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I see right now God is removing all of this trauma and hurt that stayed in you like a bad recurring nightmare and it will 
you'll get visions in your mind of traumatic events that's happened. Every demonic spirit of, of, of trauma that came in through trauma, that came in through abuse, must leave every person now in Jesus' name. All, all of this hurtful words that came through people, hurtful actions, I, I remove it out of you now, and I speak no more of these bad memories to keep recurring in your mind now in Jesus' name. I speak every spirit of depression, of anxiety, must leave every person now. Every spirit of rejection, every orphan spirit must go now. Every spirit of stagnancy must leave you now. Offense. Hallelujah. Hello. Hi. Jesus is touching you right now. Jesus is freeing you right now. It's time. It's time now to be free. Thank you, Jesus. It's time now to be healed. Thank you, Lord. I break every generational curse off of you now. Every spirit of witchcraft, every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of depression, every spirit trying to shorten your life, on three, you almost leave in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Out now. All sickness must come out now, in Jesus' name. Every demonic spirit that came in through another person, bringing abuse, bringing trauma, must leave. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I speak complete freedom to you now, and I speak complete healing to you in your body, in your mind now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Amen. God. Be filled Amen. now. Be filled now with his spirit. With abundant life now. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can get in the way anymore from what Amen. God has called you to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Jesus, your love is amazing. Thank your, you. Your power is amazing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Venceless. God bless you. Ben. Ben. 
God's saying that he sees your hunger. He sees your heart. Amen. And you pulled upon the heart of God. That's true. It's time to receive what you need now. Amen. Amen. I receive. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I speak every way the enemy has come in your mind unwanted. Bringing unwanted desires. And bringing shame. You all must leave him on three. Amen. Everyone. Amen. Every spirit of addiction. Every spirit bombarding his mind. Everyone coming in at the night. On three, you all must leave him now in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Out oh. now. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord. <sighs> Hallelujah. Mm. You are free. I think now. you complete freedom now in Jesus name your mind is free now Amen. only full of God's voice now receive these desires of your heart to please God with your mind and with your actions Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with his mm. peace and his joy in your mind now. Mm. Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. You are free. Thank Jesus you. has Thank freed you. you today. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. I'm free. I'm free. You are free. You I'm are free. free. Good. Release my mind. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, every person watching, now every single person, I speak. Every demonic oppression must leave your life now. Every way the devil's been coming in your mind with condemnation, every spirit of condemnation, guilt, shame must go now. Every spirit of religion must go now in Jesus' name. Every spirit of addiction, out now in Jesus' name. Every spirit of death, every spirit of suicidal thoughts, self-harm thoughts, now must leave in Jesus' name. Every demonic spirit forcing you to hurt yourself must go now in Jesus' name. Every demonic spirit giving you impulses, desires, thoughts that you do not want, but it's like controlling you, must leave now in Jesus' name. And I break every demonic soul tie off of you now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I speak all pain to leave every body now in Jesus' name. I speak complete healing to every person now. I speak complete freedom to every person watching right now in Jesus' name. 
be filled with this anointing now. Be filled with God's power now. May you carry his fire now to your community, to your family, to your friends, to your churches. And may this power of God move in you to heal the sick, to set free the oppressed, and to preach the truth of the gospel with power. May revival spread through you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. God for what he has done today. Wow, Jesus, we are in awe of you. Amen. Praise him where you are at, in your homes, wherever you are. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done today. You are amazing, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to invite Pastor Ilya to come back. Thank you so much, Catherine, for Thank ministering you. to people online. Those of you that are watching on YouTube, those of you on, uh, on Zoom, wave, wave at us as a sign of thank you for her ministry and what God has uh, done through her. Those of you on Facebook and YouTube, begin to come and give God thanks for the anointing and the presence uh, that's, that's on her life. On Apostle Catherine, we appreciate you. We appreciate your ministry. We appreciate what God is doing in your life. Wow, one, what an amazing time we had in the presence of God. I know that many more testimonies uh, are going to come out from this broadcast and and this and this rewatch that people will be tuning in i encourage every single one of you who who's been blessed share this broadcast with somebody on youtube on facebook distance is not a barrier god's timing is, is, is he works not just with those that are watching live directly but even those that rewatch it we hear testimonies people rewatching it three four five months later three years later and they get touched they get filled with the holy ghost they get saved they get delivered so be sure to share this broadcast uh, with with people let them know that they can too receive freedom in the mighty name of jesus christ we have done a lot of ministry today so we're gonna start wrapping up here but before before we do that there's one person that uh, in the beginning of the broadcast I, I felt there's a person there's a woman that has that needs deliverance specifically your uh, fallopian tubes are blocked and there's a snake that's wrapped around them and not allowing you to be free and not allowing you to get pregnant and that's causing tension in your marriage if you are on zoom right now identify I want to pray for you but if you are just watching on, on, on YouTube or Facebook, don't bother coming in. We're wrapping up. But if you are on Zoom, you, you fallop, uh, fallopian tubes are blocked. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for deliverance. That snake that's bind itself around your, your tubes right now, it's going to lose its grip and you're going to be free. If you are on, uh, on Facebook or, or YouTube, you can just comment and I'm going to pray and release that over you right now in Jesus name but if you are on zoom just I'll give you a few more seconds identify yourself so that I can pray for you just wave wave at us if that's you and I just I just want that that person just that specific person I don't want to pray for anybody else right now just want to pray for that person your fallopian, uh, fallopian tubes are blocked in your deliverance there's a lady that's waving Anila Let's go, uh, let's, let's put her up, see if, this, if she's the one. Hello, ma'am, how are you? Hello, thank you, yes, I'm okay. What's, what, how do I say your name? Is it Anila? Anila, where are you watching us from? Um, could you speak louder a little bit? What are you watching us from? Uh, from uh, United Kingdom. In United London. Kingdom. Okay. Okay. What's happening? What's happening with uh, with your reproductive organs? Uh, well, they're not working. They're not working. Okay. Yeah. Because as we started our broadcast, I saw a person that God put on the heart to pray. Somebody who there's a snake wrapped around, specifically around the fallopian tubes. There's a blockage. Yeah, a curse. I've had a problem for a number of years where, you know, I just haven't been able to... Um, Do you have children? I had them a long time ago, yeah. 
do you still want to have children? I did, yes. Okay. Okay. Just put your right hand on your stomach right now. The Bible says the right hand of God is power. Right now, your right hand is just going to be a medium of God's power to flow through you into your stomach and set you free. Okay? Just receive it. In Jesus' name, I command every demonic spirit, I command that snake operating in her life to be removed in Jesus' name. Loose your grip and come out. Come out of her life now. You spirit of witchcraft, right now you're leaving her body in Jesus' name. Come out and never enter her again. Loose this woman. I break every ties of generational curses. That spell that was cast on her right now. You snake, unwrap yourself around her and leave her right now in Jesus' name. Never come back. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. You demon, you can't fight the fire and win. Come out! Never enter again. Come out of her life in Jesus' name. Leave her right now. I command that spirit that's tormenting her right now in Jesus' name to lose her and never come back once again. Leave in Jesus' name. Leave in Jesus' name. Leave in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be gone out of her life in Jesus' name. Be gone out of her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your delivering power. Anila, what are you feeling right now? Thank you, Jesus. What's happening? You know, I'm feeling that, um, I'm feeling, um, because I, I heard Jesus say to me during, you know, about half an hour ago, he said, I'm going to call you and you're going to know I am the Lord your God. Come on. And I thought, well, I thought we're at the end now, so I'm not going to be called, but you know, um, so that just came to my mind now. So, How yeah, do you feel in during this prayer? What's happening with you? What was happening? Yeah, I did. I, I did, in fact, feel something moving in my stomach before, okay. and I'm feeling. Um, what? How do you feel now? Relieved. Yes, relieved. Definitely, definitely. God deserves relieved. the glory. He deserves the praise. See, when God, God makes an appointment with you, nobody you, can Jesus. change that. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, if you want to Thank have you. more kids, you're free to do so now. In Jesus' name. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Amen. We want to thank every person for tuning in and watching and being with us. The Lord is good. He has done a lot of things today. Um, if you've been blessed by this ministry and uh, what you received today, I want to invite you to become a partner of Hungry Gen or give one time best gift. Your finances, your gifts that come in, they go right back towards expanding the kingdom of God uh, and to be able to do God's work, to preach the gospel and take the gospel to all four corners of the earth, whether it's digitally or whether it's physically as going to different places. Um, so I want to invite you today to give uh, as the Lord puts in your heart, not out of a compulsion, not out of uh, condemnation but out of your free will and out of your abundance of love for the Lord Jesus Christ and what he is doing and also partnering and sowing into the ministry into a, a ministry where God is doing something as I often like to mention and say that oftentimes where our spiritual life is dry and and uh, we, we don't see any su supernatural spiritual things in life is because Bible says when we sow into carnal things we'll reap carnality but when we sow into spiritual things into spirit we, re we reap spirit oftentimes we have all these subscriptions to Netflix and and Hulu and Amazon and Disney Plus and all this stuff and no, don't get me wrong I'm not saying they're sin and they're bad they have their place but if that's all we support and subscribe to and then we wonder why our spiritual life is suffering well my friend you have to start connecting to spiritual things to ministries spiritual ministry you have to send your money where your heart needs to be 
uh, and your heart needs to be in the Word of God, in the spiritual things, in where what God is doing, where the anointing of God is flown. Because at the end of the day, Bible declares that where our heart is, there, that's where our treasure is, and vice versa. Where our treasure is, that's where our heart is. So if we want to direct our heart toward God, towards spiritual and supernatural things direct your finances there and you'll see a shift in your finances in your in your heart and your attitude so if you want to do that you can go to hungrygen.com give partner with us in giving or give one-time donation or if you have venmo and cash app our handle is hungry generation you can do that and just give one uh one-time donation one-time gift i want to pray for those of you that are giving Father, I, I, I thank you, Lord, for every person that is partnering on, uh, partnering on with our ministry and giving into your kingdom to see people healed, delivered, and saved and the gospel of Jesus Christ being preached around the world. I pray that you touch every person that is watching. You touch their businesses. You touch their careers. You touch their education. You touch their family, Father. I pray you touch their marriages, Lord. Those areas that have been blocked and been devoured by Satan, Father, by demons. I pray that they will be open right now rebuke devour for their sake rebuke demonic spirit that's operating and limiting their life right now for their sake in Jesus name father I bless them with your heavenly blessings Lord let your let your grace release them right now in Jesus name let the doors of opportunities be open send them people God send people their way God that will push them forward open the doors and opportunities for them I decree and declare contracts and and and, and checks in the mail Lord I, I I speak your blessing and and your wind of favor to blow their way their direction in Jesus name father we thank you we thank you Lord that you allow us to partner with you and your work in Jesus name thank you Lord I thank you for every person that decided to give and and wants to give and partner with this ministry may the Lord bless you I want to tell you that your finances are going into good soil your finances have been stewarded and managed it managed well and it's all going for the kingdom of God in Jesus name our service has come to an end thank you for tuning in share this broadcast with somebody let your family uh, member watch it friend watch it somebody who needs freedom I believe that they're going to be greatly blessed and if you haven't liked this video yet you joined us later make sure to like this video before you jump off this broadcast next Wednesday we're gonna have another service come and expect and invite your friends we're gonna have an amazing time in the presence of the Lord as well as next Wednesday we're gonna we're gonna have our membership uh, class for online so you can come and join uh, that class and find out more about what it's about and then join us in the mission to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to all four corners of the earth and to manifest his power in Jesus name thank you for tuning in See you next week. Shalom.